Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about this article in News Report. Magic the Gathering players struggling to weed out sex offenders. Trust me when I say this, uh, it is on ABC or a partner program. KVIA is the name. And Will actually contacted me. I am not in this article, but nonetheless, it's an interesting article. People are getting more bold in traditional media. And they found this as a juicy topic. So it's no longer just social media and social media personalities addressing this issue. It is the traditional media and that means a lot of trouble. Essentially, this is a terrible PR, terrible PR against Wizard of the Coast and Magic the Gathering. Imagine you are learn you want to learn a little bit more about Magic the Gathering, and you live in San Antonio, and you go into Google and you type in Magic the Gathering. One of the first things you're going to see is Magic the Gathering players struggling to weed out sex offenders. Now imagine that person searching is a mom or dad who wants to know what their kid is doing and why they're interested in this card game. This will hurt the bottom line. Uh, a lot of you probably don't understand how much PR is. If you wanted a ink link, it would cost you $18,000. A link like this, uh, CBS. So you might ask, why are these store owners on this news channel? Wouldn't this be something they would not want to be on? No, the PR, the free PR that the store owners, the people being interviewed, everyone along the chain, including Jeremy, is receiving has a value. If you were to buy that, it would probably be around eighteen to twenty-eight thousand dollars. If you, if I wanted to pay, let's say, the Dallas Journal to cover a topic I want them to cover, that would be the cost. Uh, that would be the cost that I would expect to pay to be on the newspaper. Now, digitally, it's a lot cheaper, like PR Vocus or I don't. Vocus got purchased. It used to be called PR Webwire or something like that. I know Bree used to use it all the time, and she signed up, signed us up for a year of it. Yeah, that's expensive. Uh, I'm not going to lie, it is very expensive. It's $500 a digital media packet, and out of the $500, you have to commit to at least 10 of them a month. So it's $5,000 a month. That's why the guy is very happy to be on the camera talking about Magic the Gathering having sex offenders. Not typically something that you know a store owner should be happy about, but to shoot a commercial a 15 second commercial on automotives is generally $20,000. This is a free commercial that he can run any amount of times. So when Hamberley approached the judge program about needing the background checks, their response was it would cost too much. So Jeremy decided to set a GoFundMe account and donated a thousand of his own money. Regardless of his attempts, the judges shunned him. <laughs> Uh, I have to laugh a little bit. <laughs> Shun, right? I mean, are we in high school again? Are we in kindergarten? Finally, after the dogged efforts of Kogavani and Hambly, Wizards of the Coast relented by putting up a statement on their website claiming an administrative error regarding Pazdanir. Do you think this is good PR? For Wizard of the Coast, it is terrible PR for them. The SEO, the digital, it's never going to go away. This video will populate. It's already, Reddit tried to stop it. So Reddit closed someone trying to discuss it. And then they rebranded it because they knew that people wanted to discuss it. And then for a quote, more neutral feeling. At the end of the day, I will say this. They could have avoided all of this. They just call Jeremy, work out a deal, and that's it. I don't see why they want to continue to get their... 
this is not good for them to continue. There will only be more articles. There will only be more news. Hasbro is a publicly traded company. Publicly traded. They cannot be liking this. Every time you see Magic the Gathering, sex offender, sex offender, Magic the Gathering judge, sex offender. That's not a keyword association. So in digital marketing, you have things called keyword association, which is when you type in Google and it kind of fills in the blanks for you. Imagine typing in Magic the Gathering and one of the blanks that Google fills in based on search is in articles and videos is sex offender. How much would it cost to remove that? Uh, you would have to hire a very good agency and they would have to do online reputation management, which is not cheap. The damage they have inflicted really largely upon themselves is tremendous. They could have handled it and they could have addressed it and be like, okay, we know our current program has problems. We're going to make it stronger. This is what we're going to do. Instead of just slowly drip, 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 articles coming out left and right. The article, I, would you ever imagine a company, blank company, has trouble weeding out sex offenders? Oh, and by the way, blank company has kids play every day at their FNM or tournaments. Regard, even assuming none of this is true, assume all of this is imaginary. There, there are real consequences when these articles are being published. There are real player base. The player base is not going to grow. A new person is not going to look at this game and say, that's for me. Unless they are a high school teacher who has, you know, f sexual relationships with their students, right? Then they might apply to be a judge. But Wizard of the Coast, uh, of all the things they have done from, uh, I, first, the card quality, I don't think they have a quality control person. Because a lot of really poor card qualities or cards are getting out. I also don't believe they have a good PR person or a PR person at all. The PR person should have taken action and been like, okay, this is how we're going to deal with it. I'm going to tell you a story of a good PR person. There is a rope company or there's a company that sells rope. Just follow me on this. It might be strange, but it is true. And the rope, the people who make the rope, which was beloved in this little town, burnt down. The manufacturer plant burned down, so there was no more rope. Now, the store that had a rope, they increased the price of the rope because they weren't going to get more stock. So they felt like, okay, we don't want it to sell out. We'll just increase the price to slow down the sales. Well, people didn't like that, and they took to social media. They hated the concept that this company was taking advantage of the rope manufacturing building or plant that they all loved, burnt down. So what they did was they said, hey, you know, we're going to donate all the profits, even our profits. Just we're going to sell the rope at the new price. And if you already bought the rope because you needed it, we're going to donate all profits to the family that owned the rope company that had burnt down. That's the way to do it. Do it fast, do it honest, and do it because you want to, not because someone's forcing you to. The community loved it. That company, that brand is strong, so strong right now because they had a PR person, which was the daughter of the owner. She got it. I mean, she got it. She understood. Hey, at the end of the day, controlling what is being said on Reddit. Let's say here, came across this article on Twitter, this accurate? Why does it say eight comments but it only shows two? Shadow bans. Means the mods don't want them to know they're blocked but they can't actually share a post. Tried sharing this before and it got locked by the mods. The Wizard of Coast is trying to control the story but the more they control it, the worse the story becomes. And the reason is, if you put your own spin to it and you're not honest and you're not doing things 
I would say there's no, I've dealt with PR. I don't do it myself, but we had an excellent PR manager, Bria, Bri, Brianna, but we call her Bri. And with Cali, there was two were very good at what they did. They could put spins on stuff. They can make everyone really happy. I don't know what this PR person is doing. It's This PR person is just as bad as a quality assurance person in the print shop. They have hired some, I mean, what did they do? They hired like recent like interns or these departments run by interns. And that's why that weeks later, they have to come up with a technicality. Like when you think about administration era, what is that? That's a technicality. We hate technologies, technicalities as Americans. We hate them in sports. We hate them in other things in life because we know it's a BS excuse. It's not honest. You have them trying to control the Reddit, deleting people, shadow banning other people. And they're doing this because they want to control the story. Every time they do it, the story gets bigger and bigger because it's very clear to us. It's very clear from their reaction. They don't care about this topic. They just want it to go away. And they haven't addressed it. The terms are incredibly vague. Everything is, there's no action items other than your store owner should talk to an attorney if they don't know what we're talking about, which is a large majority of stores. Do they or do they not need to do background checks of all, all, on all employees? If not everybody, then who? All judges? What if the judge doesn't want to do a background check? Who's responsible if something bad happens? All of these questions are just incredible. And having dealt with them at this point, they're, they're, they were not always this vague. I don't know what happened to their legal counsel, which she wasn't great in my opinion. However, she was better than this. This is some intern. I would not be shocked if to save cost, the quality assurance department wants to make sure that cards of low quality do not get out to the customer who's buying them. The PR department, which would prevent something like this article from ever going up. And the legal department are run by like interns. This is basic stuff. You don't need to hire a $200,000 PR law firm or PR agency to understand that as soon as it comes out you need to make a statement and get on top of it because the longer you waited the more it seemed like you were shifting liability and the more people can attack you but that rope company if they had waited too long people would have just said okay you are only donating the profits because hey we forced you to and you don't honestly believe that you should. So if they waited too long, they would have lost all their money, donated the profits at that point, they would have to commit, and got such bad press. But instead, they did it fast, they did it honestly. Not only did they eventually make more money because you had customer loyalty and retention and buying more stuff from the store, it was done in a way that created customer loyalty. Anyway, my point is quite simple. Wizard of the Coast has, is going to get hit by a lot of news articles soon. I'm almost certain of this. Traditional media will cover it. Why, who would not cover this? Are your children in danger of going to FNM, role playing as a wizard? What you should know. I could see a CBS or ABC special about this. I could see multiple news outlets picking this up. That's how a press release kit works is when someone picks it up, then a kit is built. And then that kit is easy to copy and paste. So people who are lazy, news people, they just copy and paste and spam these things. And now the fact that one person has said it means you are going to have a bunch more. 
Anyway, that is it. Leave me a comment below if you agree, you disagree. This is a sign of things to come. And this article and video, they're never going away. They're online from a ABC mm, partner, I guess, is what you would call them. Anyway, that, that has a lot of SEO, a lot of search engine optimization juice. Anyway, that's it. Bye, guys.